Hey guys, I got a box from GCM in Poland. There's a Vertigo in here, some Vertigo spare parts, and FX's, and a few other goodies for me, which I'm super excited about. I've taken most of the screws out. I'll just finish these up. You'll get to see what a shipment from GCM looks like. So let's see if the top comes off. This crate is pretty substantial, I must say. They use a little heavier duty wood than uh, some of the other manufacturers. Here's what's inside. Some foam. What do we have here? Looks like hardware or push rods of some sort. Oh, it's a lot of hardware and wires. There's push rods in here. I think those are for the FX ailerons. Let's see, what do we got? FX fuselage. Super heavy because I think I think there's a ballast inside of there. So one, another one, orange, pink and orange, two, another orange here, three, green one. We've seen the effects before, but there's something brand new in here that nobody has ever seen. Well, except for me and the guys at GCM. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five FX fuselages. So we got some vertigo parts. There's one, two, three, four booms right here. Put these aside. And we have one pod, two pods. And there's something else in here. What could this be? What could this guy be? Hard to see through the bubble wrap. Very hard to do this one handed. Making progress. Come on. Uh. Got some bling bling here. <laughs> oh boy. Gold, gold flake, hatch. Ooh, what's in there? Motor mount. Something here.
Obviously, it's a V-tail, but a very small V-tail. More foam. I save all this foam and packaging whenever I get a crate because you can always use it to ship out customer airplanes. And I don't know if you guys have ever tried to buy packaging material in bulk, but it's pretty pricey, so... You know, shipping a F5J plane probably, there's, including the box, there's probably $20, $25 just in materials. Just packaging and stuff. Here's a... Here's a wing set. And I can tell you it's not an FX wing. Looks like it, because it's two-piece. Uh, what does this say? FX for Ollie. Yes. For me. It's mine. Not for you. I haven't had a F3K plane in a while, actually. My last one was the Fireblade. Fireblade uh, 2 or 2.5 or, or whatever they called it. What? That's not the color I wanted. What's going on here? Maybe they got the bags mixed up. I wanted a pink one to match my vertigo. Huh. Well, here we have uh, orange FX. One wing half. Packed really well. I think, you know, stuff's not just thrown in there, it's taped so it doesn't wiggle around. This one's orange too. Green. I hate green. Some people like green. I don't know why people like green. But everyone, every once in a while, somebody wants a green plane. Whenever I see this, it kind of worries me. It's probably just the cover, but and there's a small chance the whole wing is smashed, but I doubt it. Let's see. Nope, not smashed. That's good. Perfect condition and all its green glory so I got all the FX wings out and now we have vertigo parts so uh, a set of wing tips look how thick this wood is you know, just this particle board here, and then also, you know, this these uh, these pieces are like inch and a half by inch and a half, and then there's foam inside, so very well packed. So this is a vertigo wing, wing tip for a customer, special order. Ooh. 
Another FX wing part in there. Wing half. FX pink. I think that's mine. And we got some tails, look like elevators here. These uh, wing and tail covers are super nice, very high quality. So yeah, we got two elevators. And there's a vertigo center panel. Okay, vertigo elevator. Okay. Do something with this. Another center panel for a vertigo. FX elevators, the vertigo uh, rudder. Well, I think you guys get the point here, but there's something in here. So we have another uh, vertigo spare elevator, and then bunch of FX rudders and I really want to look at one of these because most F5K planes just have carbon rudders but I asked for something a little different and that one's not one of them so won't we'll show you that. Let's see here. What we got here. Uh, tape stuck to me. If it's the camera shaky, it's because I'm doing all this one-handed. So there we go. Look at that. So this is the the uh, FX vertical, and it's got a stripe on it. How cool is that? And the uh, horn is pre the slots pre cut for the horn, and the springs already installed. That is way cool. Okay, I'm gonna pause for a bit and try to sh dig up what I want to show you. All right, here's what I wanted to show you. Look at these little details. Look how thin they are. Super cute. Very light. And here's the V-tails on the mystery plane. Totally excited. This is for me. This is a prototype um, of a, uh, it's a uh, first uh, production run slash prototype F5K airplane from GCM. And I'm going to put it together. I don't have a name yet, but we'll find one. Here we go. It's most of the stuff out of the crate. Kind of fun. I think a lot of you guys don't get to see uh, what this stuff looks like when it gets imported, you know, so... Maybe some of you will enjoy it. A pile of uh, fuselage parts here. All the hardware packs. 
I have to clean all this up and organize it and put it all in its place. And uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, GCM crate unboxing. And I will see you in the next one.